My Journey Through Cancer and Beyond. Whoever thought I would write a life story? Whoever thought I would go to Vegas? Whoever thought I would get cancer? It was the summer of 2012. It was the best of times, only to become the worst of times. I was heading to Vegas to meet my cousins for a week-long vacation, and so my adventure begins. I was on top of the world. It couldn't get any better. There I was, up on stage in Las Vegas, playing the tambourine with the Beatles. I mean, they look like the Beatles, they dress like the Beatles, and they sound like the Beatles. They are the closest thing you'll ever get to a Beatles concert today. It was amazing. Actually, quite surreal. Fast forward a week and I'm in Edmonton visiting my brother and sister-in-law and my whole world came crashing down. You know how you plan for trips, you plan for work, and you plan for parties? Well, you never plan for cancer. We had gone out for dinner and I had experienced excruciating abdominal pain in the middle of the night, so naturally I thought it was something I ate. But as the pain continued on for the second night in a row, I began to fear that it may be my appendix. So I thought, I better get it checked out. Well, it wasn't my appendix. I turned to the doctor and said, that is good news. But she just looked at me and said, well, you have a mass on your colon. And that was it. I was stunned, shocked. A mass on my colon? That's all I heard. I went into a daze, a fog. It was like everything was moving in slow motion. What followed were endless hospital visits, countless blood tests and CT scans, and then a diagnosis, cancer. My life would be forever changed. For whatever reason, I had decided to document this journey I was about to set out on with pictures. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them when all was said and done, but I knew I had to validate what I was about to go through, for it would forever change who I was and determine who I would become once I came through to the other end of this adventure. Hmm, yeah, I thought adventures were supposed to be fun. Before I had my surgery, it was important for me to surround myself with my closest friends. So I arranged to have a girl power shower, where they would shower me with their love and support, giving me the strength I needed to embark on the uncertain journey which lay ahead. So here I am, preparing for surgery, coming through it, and going home. Now on to meet my dynamic medical team. I have the best oncologist there is. She exudes compassion, and I am forever grateful for her expertise, skill, and care. The chemo nurses were amazing. They were calming and reassuring, explaining what was happening to me, and helping me adjust to the drugs that would soon become a part of my everyday life. They made going to chemo not just bearable, but dare I say, fun? Well, at least that's how I tried to make it. The first time I stood with my chemo pole, I looked at it and said, now this gives pole dancing a whole new meaning. Then there are the many loving friends I have who have made this journey more tolerable. 
They cooked for me, took me to appointments, and many volunteered to be my chemo buddies throughout my treatment. I was able to celebrate my wonderful friends at different times throughout my journey, from the girl power shower, to my 50th birthday celebration midway through my chemo, which then turned into my halfway through chemo party, and then on to the thank you for all your love and support party, which I had when I finished my chemo. A week later, I was on a plane with some friends heading for Mexico. It was last minute, but actually the perfect ending to this emotional ordeal. It was a great opportunity for me to relax on the beach and recuperate after putting my body through so much stress and trauma. Last year's Relay for Life brought on a whole new meaning for me. Having participated in it twice before, I never dreamed that I would one day be making the victory lap. It was quite emotional for me, but I was glad to be able to share this experience with friends, both old and new. Now, as a member of the Colorectal Cancer Society, I was able to volunteer at their giant 40-foot colon exhibit and come face to face, or should I say face to butt, with my cancer. I continue now with my healing journey by participating in the many programs offered at the various cancer support centers in the area. Hearth Place in Oshawa, Wellspring at Sunnybrook, and Gildas Club downtown. I am having fun exploring my inner artist in acrylic painting class and my inner poet in creative writing class. But whatever the class, I am enjoying meeting new people and once again discovering the laughter through the tears as I continue to regain my strength and determination to become strong and healthy once more. Bridge. I cross the bridge, leaving the uncertainty of cancer behind, crossing over to a new path. I cross the bridge, leading me far away from the pain and suffering of the past, over to the joy and excitement of a future without cancer. I cross the bridge to explore a new life full of gratitude, beauty, and wonder.